Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a picture using the camera application on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. Now, you may not have this application, but I believe it comes default on all Windows devices. So if we go on down to search here and just type in camera, it should pop open. And then I just pinned it to my task bar down here. Just go to it, right click on it, go to pin to taskbar. And you can access this at any point in time real quick. Now, if you cannot find the Windows camera application, uh, go to search and type in store. Go to the Microsoft store and you should be signed in with your account. Go up to the top and just simply type in camera and Windows camera should appear right here. This is the application from Microsoft uh, Corporation. You can go through here and just check all these little pictures. It's a very basic camera application, but allows you to look at your web camera and take pictures off it. So once you download it, here it is. And the first option is uh, the flip the camera. Well, it says change camera. So if you've got multiple cameras or if your camera's not displaying, it says no signal, just press this to change to your actual camera here. Now, if you're on a laptop or something like that and your camera's not turning on, I believe it's the F8 or F9 button that will turn on your camera. So if it's a black screen, press that button on your keyboard and it should turn on your camera. So we can look through the different options on here. We got take a video or take a screenshot or a photo right here, which I can do right now. So let's smile and take a picture, a nice Midwestern smile right there. And then we can go through, uh, this is document. I'm not sure what that is. And then here's whiteboard. And QR code and then this one always doesn't work but we can go to the camera gallery camera roll down here in the bottom right and there's me Oakley Doakley and then we can go to my other pictures I took and here's a video I took me just waving and talking and flailing my arms and we can delete the video up here now one of the cool thing is uh, we can access the file location we can just go to open folder if we go to the three little dots I believe if we right click on the image, go to open folder, and it's a pretty hectic kind of like a pathway to get to the camera roll. We got to go to this PC, Windows C, user, your name, Timothy, pictures, camera roll. So it takes a little bit to get to this. So if you're trying to find something in here, well, it's probably easiest just to open up the camera application. And you can see I had hip surgery, so I got my crutches and my brace on. So yeah, this is very easy. Now, if you're going to be taking a picture or something like that, just check your settings first. So this is uh, on the left side here. We got the uh, like uh, the photo timer. We can set this and this is just going to show up as a little circle on the screen. And then after two seconds or whatever, how many times, uh, how however many seconds you got set up there is just going to display. Um, then we got the autofocus. So if we want to change the focus, so if you look in the back there, you can see the focus. Now, it seems like just this one is good. I don't know. It doesn't really work unless you get really close or something. Then we got brightness here too. And then we go to settings and we got the camera settings. We can turn on like a grid or something. Uh, we got the photo settings, uh, the image quality. I don't know if this is just my camera on here, but the image quality is extremely low. It's only like three megapixels. But the photo quality and then the time lapse and then the video quality, the most I can go up to is 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is okay. So, like, if you're trying to send something over to someone, just open up the capture gallery real quick and then go to open folder. And a lot of times I'll just drag um, a picture into like Messenger or WhatsApp or Instagram, whatever you're using to communicate with people. Or if you got like phone link down here, I love setting up phone link. I just text uh, to my phone from my computer. Very easy. So I never have to look at my phone throughout the day. I just use my computer for everything. So simple. Set it up like that, guys. And then um, you can just press control, click on your uh, specific screenshots you want. And then you can just copy and paste it on over to Messenger. Now, if you are using Messenger from the desktop and you're trying to get the application, um, do it through the Microsoft Store. Seems like if you download Messenger through the Facebook.com or wherever, it simply just doesn't open up once you have it installed. So if you download it through here and you open it up, it should work. Then you don't have to deal with your Facebook like uh, timeline or anything like that. You can just talk to people and you don't have to look at the different ads or suggested stuff. And you can just get on with your day. Like those reels can be really time consuming. 
So I just like staying off Facebook. Just Messenger is fine. And then um, make sure your videos are under 25 megabytes here. So if your video resolution quality is way too high, you probably want to go ahead and drop that down so you can actually record like a 30 second video. Otherwise, everything is just going to be too large of a, a file pretty much. So I just drop it down to like 720, maybe 560 or 576 right here. So you can record longer videos when you send it to your friends. Messenger really doesn't have an option on the PC desktop uh, to record like how your phone does and then just send a quick little video that way. So just have to be aware. But yeah, very easy to do to take a picture or take a video. Hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.